Kremlin spokesman admits to significant losses of Russian troops in bungled invasion of Ukraine, as army hit by mutiny. A Kremlin spokesman has admitted to significant losses of Russian troops in the bungled invasion of Ukraine. Vladimir Putin's mouthpiece Dmitry Peskov said the losses were a huge tragedy for Russia. Dmitry Peskov admitted to significant losses of Russian troops credit, AP. Russian families have been burying their loved ones returning from the front line in Ukraine credit, east to west. Up to 18,500 Russian soldiers are reported to have died so far credit, east to west. The Kremlin press secretary denied the high losses amounted to a humiliation for Moscow in an interview with Sky News. He said, no, it's a wrong understanding of what's going on. But he later admitted, we have significant losses of troops and it's a huge tragedy for us. It comes as the Russian death toll in Ukraine reportedly nears 20,000, according to Ukrainian estimates. A senior NATO official, speaking on the condition of anonymity, told AP that figure could be as high as 40,000 captured, injured or dead Russian troops. This has prompted Russian elite paratroopers to stage a mutiny after witnessing their comrades being wiped out in battle, reports claim. The soldiers were from Kiev Airborne Forces headquarters in Peskov in northern Russia. The Refusenik troops had been moved to Belarus as part of the invasion force but after their mutiny, they were sent in disgrace back to their base in Peskov. Some have been dismissed and branded cowards while others are set to face the Russian equivalent of a court-martial with likely jail sentences. Defense Minister Sergei Shuigu is reported to have sent one of his deputies to Peskov to handle the insubordination. Ukraine claimed that the 60 or so troops were elite paratroopers but this is not so far confirmed, even though they are from Peskov, a key HQ of Russia's most elite airborne forces. Russian opposition outlet Peskovskaya Gubernia reported, about 60 servicemen from Peskov refused to go to war on Ukrainian territory, according to our sources. After the first days of the war, they were first brought to the Republic of Belarus, and then they returned to their base in Peskov. Most of them are currently being dismissed, but some are threatened with criminal cases. It is the latest of several cases of Russian troops refusing to obey Vladimir Putin's orders to invade Ukraine and denazify the country. An earlier captive Russian soldier from Peskov, Vladimir Safronov, 23, told his Ukrainian interrogators about problems with rations, and how his officers were looting the civilian population. Earlier reports said that elite Oman Special Forces troops from Kakassia had refused to fight. In another case, troops from the unofficial statelet South Ossetia reportedly went on foot back to their homes after refusing to participate in hostilities in Ukraine. It comes as earlier this week shocking footage showed bodies of Russian soldiers piled up after they were allegedly ambushed in Sumy, northeastern Ukraine. Russian forces have lost thousands of vehicles in the war in Ukraine including hundreds of tanks and over 1800 other armored vehicles. A UK spy chief previously claimed that Russian forces were even sabotaging their own weapons and refused to carry out orders amid a rise in battlefield losses. Russian marines reportedly staged a mutiny last month and defied orders to attack the strategic port of Odessa. Ukrainian soldiers have regained control of areas around Kyiv Credit, EPA. Ukrainian fighters retook the Novobasan village of Kyiv Credit, EPA.